What's going on guys? Sorry for this hideous thing right there. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna let this adjust itself, maybe. I'm just gonna go like this. Woo. Alright, I'm not gonna talk much today. Well, this morning anyways. Um, I'm just gonna get right to work. So, the last video I published last night, I'm glad I got it out there because now there's, you know, weight off my back. I show this and the motor coming back. That's the end of the video, basically. Um, and that's pretty much where it ended for me. So, what I'm going to work on is I'm going to work on this stuff. I took this out, and I realize I do kind of want heat in the car. Just because I live in Colorado, and right now it's one of the nicer days, and it's like 40 degrees right now. Um, 40 or 50, but it feels nice because there's sun. So, um, what I'm trying to say is, it gets cold here, especially during the winter. So I am going to want AC, um, heat. I'm not going to have AC. Well, I might have AC, depending on header clearance and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah. So I'm going to get to work on taking that out. I know I just said that I'm putting um, the heat back in, but I'm going to take that out because it's got the cabin air filter. I want to clean it, clear it out. And then, then I'm going to try and put it all back. Um, I'll worry about the fuse box later. And it's just all this kind of bullshit stuff that I've got to do. And I want it to be back to green in here. So it helps to have the fuse box out because I can just go over there and do that stuff. So, yeah. So I'm going to get to work in a few minutes and start working on taking paint off, all that other stuff. So, yeah. Catch you guys in the next clip. What's up guys? So, I am starting to do work. Sorry about the background music. Found my old MP3 player with a bunch of random Japanese music on it. So I'm just grooving right now, I guess. <laughs> um, so, basically I'm just going to start sanding here. And I'm going to move on um, to like these areas. And then the back's going to be the hardest part. Um, but yeah. I'm just going to be sanding most of today, and then I'll probably work on um, moving the brake lines. Like, not moving them, but like, not taking them apart, but like, moving them off the firewall so I can sand back there. But yeah, so, that's that. I'm going to get to work. Probably won't put a time lapse on because I don't have too much memory left on the camera. I'm, well, I'm not sure. But anyways, I'll just update you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, so I'm pretty much done with the can of primer that I have, um, wherever it is, where did I set it, set it here, it's pretty low, um, and I don't want to go on too much more because I don't want the effect of the spray to go worse, I am going to have to sand all this, um, but yeah, I'm just going to try and get like right there that's a little bit gray still, like right there on the mount. Um, it is making some of those weird muddy, dry mud patterns, um, just cause the surface wasn't completely, like, sanded in certain areas, but it's fine cause I'm gonna sand the primer, and then the paint will stick to the primer, and so yeah. But, look at how much better that looks than the back. And it's fine if I hit the hard lines with it now, because the hard lines are meant to be black. So, that'll be good. Um, other than that, I think I'm going to go pick up some more primer in a little bit. Um, maybe in a few minutes here. And then, 
I'm gonna work on I'm gonna get the other paint too like the black paint that I want to get but yeah I think it's looking good so yeah that'll be that I won't talk too much longer all right what's going on guys it's the next morning of last night and I'm gonna get to work on sanding some of the primer it is snowing outside it's like 30 degrees so I won't be able to get to painting today I'm gonna try and show you what it's looking like outside yeah there's some snow it's um, pretty cold out and there's a lot of snow so I'm just gonna sand it today I'm not gonna worry about paint um, I'll probably be painting on Wednesday sorry about the volume of the music in the background I forgot to forgot that I had to film before I set my music up but yeah so I'm just gonna put this on a time-lapse do a little bit of sanding and yeah uh -huh. But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go going on guys so today I am painting the bay wherever the car is right there um, so everything's masked off that needs to be masked off and my primer is sanded so I'm gonna get started here in a second I'll put you guys on a time-lapse and so yeah that'll be today's recordings and then yeah sorry if I sound muscled I've got my mask on obviously but, yeah Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left Alright, what's going on guys? I totally forgot to update you guys on what was going on I'm hella sorry about that But just look so today I decided just to, yeah, today I just decided to do the clear anyways, and look at how good that came out. A little glossy that is. It's got a little bit of orange peel stir, and I'm not really concerned about it, but, because it's just the bay, but, like, look at how glossy that bay is. It just looks good. It looks hella good. I'm really, 
happy with the turnout and I love how it's coming together. Um, I did the bumper as well, um, but it was hella windy outside, um, as I told you guys earlier. So I did it outside, but the wind kind of came into play and messed with our spraying. So we had to get a lot closer, but then this happened when you got closer. Um, so what we have to do is we just got to sand it down. And, um, but yeah, so I just got to sand it down. It still looks so much better than it did. Like, even with all this stuff, it looks a lot better because it's glossy and it's shiny. Um, and it's really smooth. So I'm just going to work on sanding that down tomorrow a little bit. I'm, I don't have too much time to do that tomorrow, but I'm going to anyways. i got to let it cure first. But, yeah. And that's what the base looking like. Once again, guys, I'm super sorry I didn't update you guys. But that's how it came out. Um... I would have put you guys on time lapse if I knew it was happening, and then I completely forgot, so I'm sorry about that, but yeah, so the soles looking like this right now, parts are on the way, we're going to get the motor together soon and in the car, and it'll be getting together. What's going on guys, it is the next day from yesterday, I'm going to keep it down a little bit because there are still people in my house that are sleeping. Um, so yeah, so here's how the paint came out on the bay. It looks really glossy, it's really nice, um, it looks amazing really. I'm really happy with how it came out. And, you know, sure it's not going to be perfect, because it, it never is going to be perfect. Um, but it's at least better than the bumper. <laughs> the bumper had this because of the wind, and I'm going to work on sanding that down today. Um, I'm about to roll this out, so I was just going to put you guys on the camera and roll it out. See ya. Alright guys, it's been a little while since I've given an update, but here's all the parts to the motor. I've got the crank acid washed. I've got the, pit, the new piston tops on the rods. And, yeah. So, I've got everything done. Um, everything's good. The shop I use, I went to this for is U.S. Automotive and Machine Shop um, out here in Loveland, Colorado. If you guys are in the Colorado area, I recommend this shop. It's definitely, um, you get what you need for the price, um, for a good price. And I'm pretty glad that they did this for me for pretty dang cheap. Um, I think total it was like close to like 200 some bucks, something a little bit more than that. Um, but yeah, US Automotive and Machine out here in Loveland. Um, but yeah, uh, that'll be that. So the next update will probably be in a uh, few days on getting the bearings in and the crank in and all that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna take the Celica back and we're gonna get to work on the motor pretty soon.
So this is how the motor's looking right now. We've got the crank in, we've got the crank girdle or whatever main cap thing on. Um, so, yeah, I got the pistons. I've just got to put rings on the pistons. I'm not sure if I'm going to be putting the pistons in tonight. It depends all on if I can finish finding the rest of the tool that I need. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get to work on that with my good helper landing here, and we're just going to get get to work. Alright guys, so last I left you off, we had um, the, I think we were doing something with the block, we were, we were doing the main bearings and stuff. It's been a little while, we were searching for a tool for a while and we took a little bit of a break, but we, we got back, we got all the pistons in, all of them are in, all the cylinders are greased and everything, so everything's together, everything's torqued down except for the... Um, crank girdle or main cap thing or whatever it's called and then all we got to do after that is put the oil pan on and do the clutch and then I can attach the transmission I'll probably slide it under the car without having the head on it just because it'll be easier that way and then I can just attach the head on later so yeah that's how it's going so it'll be done here probably by next weekend and maybe I'll be able to get it into the car What's going on guys? Um, I know my hair is kind of a mess right now, but I just got up and I'm doing some work on the Del Sol. So I'll show you a little bit of the progress we've made with the engine, and then I'll show you what I'm planning on going, running over to O'Reilly's and getting later on today. Um, just because it's on like order, and so I gotta wait until like whenever they let me know. Um, other than that, I've got in here, I've got the transmission because I'm getting the new clutch and stuff on today, hopefully, depending on when um, my oil pan from O'Reilly gets here, um, well, it gets to the store. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it before, like, 3 in the afternoon. Um, if not, that's fine, too. But, basically, here's the transmission. It's really gross, as you can see. Tra the transmission isn't supposed to be black, it's just grease. Um, I've got a heavy duty um, foaming degreaser and I might use that today. Uh, it really depends. I don't know if I'm really going to be wanting to be breathing all that in. Um, so I think I'm going to see how far I can get with just simple green and stuff. In here I've got my stage 2 clutch. It's just an eBay clutch. It's a $100 eBay clutch. I went with something a little bit more pricey and something that had a little bit better reviews just because I want the clutch to last for at least, I don't know, at least until I can, you know, get working on doing a swap for this motor, so that really comes down to money, so, I mean, it could be in a year from now, it could be for two years, so that's how long, it could be longer than that, I, that's, I'm just hoping that it'll last for that time. Um, other than that, yeah, the bay's black. It looks really good. Um, I gotta sand down the bumper. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that today while I'm waiting for the pan because there's not much I really can do except for like wash the transmission and rinse this out. But what's going on, guys? So it's been, I want to say, close to an hour or two, probably something like that. I know more than an hour. Um, so I've gotten a little bit work done, a little bit of work done on the Y8 here the heart of the soul and so yeah I'll show you what's going on so we've got the coolant attachment I don't even know what it's called the connect the connecting pipe water pump connecting pipe or inlet tube or whatever we got the water pump on we got the crank um, sprocket thing on he's got the mount on we well part of the mount and we've got here towards the bottom, we've got the sides torqued down, the rear main seal side, and the oil, oil pump side of things. We got the oil sump mainly getting together. It's still, it still needs its other two bolts. Um, other than that, I got the main cap, um, crank girdle, whatever people call it, um, all torqued down. That's to 38 foot pounds. We've got all of it pretty good and done so I think it's coming together 
um, pretty soon here. Hopefully, I'll have my oil pan. I'll probably call O'Reilly's and get my new oil pan. This one's fine, but it's just there's so much metal crap in it that we can't get out. So we're just getting another one because it's 65 bucks, and 65 bucks or potentially ruining my engine. I'd rather spend 65 bucks. So other than that, there's transmission stuff, and that's just getting it clean. Um, so after I get the oil pan and everything, um, all that stuff done, I can pair the transmission with the block on this side. I can get the flywheel and the clutch on and the transmission on tonight, hopefully, um, depending on how long it takes them to get the oil pan here. It might be here now, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's the work that's getting done. So it'll be back in the saw here pretty soon. Um, depending on what's going on, I might just slide it under tonight. I'm not 100% sure because I've still got, you know, all this other stuff to clear out of the bay so I can slide it up. But if, it, if all goes well, I will. So, yeah, that's a little update. And other than that, I'm just going to be getting to doing more work and... Yeah, and I'll update you guys shortly. What's up, guys? It's been a little while. Pardon my night Lavelle in the background. Um, trying, not, trying to keep it relatively low because I don't want to get copyright. Um, anyways, so I got the hoist set up. Um, I didn't find my bar for the jack, so I've got this to loosen and tighten the jack and then my hoist bar thing. Um, I found my leveler, and so yeah, basically what I got to do is I got to attach it to the motor, and then it's just, you know, dropping in, um, so I'm going to figure that out, um, but first, before I can actually worry about putting the motor in, I got to, um, put the, whatever the fuck it is, the power steering together, I got to put that back onto the spot that it goes to and then I gotta put some blankets around because I don't want to scratch anything but yeah so that's the deal um, so I'm gonna get to work on that and I'll update you guys in a little bit again and we'll see where we'll see how far I get today <laughs> 